Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today for the Best Buy Canada blog, and this time I'm taking a look at the DJI Robomaster S1, which is a ground-based robotic drone that has a ton of different features. It's fun, it's educational, and just recently I got the chance to test one out, which unfortunately came already assembled, so there was no packaging or instructions or anything like that for me to use. And so I guess I did kind of miss out on the fun of actually getting to put this thing together. And that is really one of the initial play patterns for this. But it did save me a little bit of time, and I was at least able to get right into trying to use it. However, without the instructions or the packaging or anything to kind of help me along, I have had to kind of sort of piece things together as I go. But it has been a whole lot of fun to do it, and although I haven't quite mastered everything just yet, I have learned a fair bit about this through trial and error, and I'm going to try to show you as much of that as I can right now here in this video, uh, which is really more of a preview than a complete review. So uh, we're actually hoping to have another crack at a fully boxed one of these later on that I would get to put the whole thing together and you know make a more advanced video. That may or may not happen though and I'm just not sure so I wanted to show as much as I could here in this quick video. Anyway the first thing that you need to know about this is that it is essentially like an enhanced uh, radio controlled vehicle I guess you could say and it has these really interesting and cool mechanum tires that allow it to drive completely completely sideways, uh, basically using four-wheel drive omnidirectional movement. Uh, so it has tremendous maneuverability for things like avoiding obstacles and pretty much getting into and out of any kind of a tight jam. So that's really neat to, right off the bat. And it's incredibly cool to drive this and to see it drive and to see what it can do. Now it also has a little camera up front on the top there. And the camera is actually on a two-axis mechanical gimbal. And the camera allows you to see everything that the drone sees as it's driving around uh, right there on your smartphone screen via the RoboMaster app and of course the app also gives you just complete control over the drone along with allowing you to see everything that the drone sees as it goes along and there's a special enhanced controller that you can get for this as well that connects to your phone and it kind of gives you the benefit of joysticks and that sort of thing so that you don't have to entirely control it right from your phone screen you know those phone screens can be a little bit touchy at times maybe not uh, as responsive as you'd like them to be at times but unfortunately I didn't get the chance to try out one of those controllers so I can't really say too much more about it other than the fact that they are out there and you can get them anyway uh, you can play some really fun games with this thing there are solo games and there are games that you can play against other people as well that have one of these drones so basically it's got the little cannon that you can see up on the front there and there's two different ways that it can fire one is through an infrared laser beam so it's kind of like a game of laser tag using the drones and the other is I guess you'd call it airsoft. That's basically the best way that I can explain it. Uh, it uses these little water-based pellets. So you receive a bottle of about 10,000 of these pellets with the drone. And they're so small that you can hardly even see them at first. But after you soak them in water for a about four hours I guess that's what it says anyway so what I found out online uh, so they'll absorb the water and they'll swell up into basically full-sized airsoft pellets and then the drones can just fire away at each other and there's actually these uh, sensor panels on the drone there's six of them it's kind of part of the drone's armor but it detects when you've been hit and it will sort of deduct life force or life points basically the same as in a video game until there's just one winner left standing so really really neat uh, it's kind of like bringing the, the video game world to life, I guess you could say. And I believe that you can play with uh, a few different people as long as everybody has a drone. But since I only had one to try it out with myself, I couldn't really do any of those multiplayer sort of games. But I still had a lot of fun just kind of driving it around and making it shoot and whatnot. It's really, really cool. Uh, of course, it's also a highly educational product. It's basically a really advanced STEM Toy, as in science, technology, engineering, and math. And especially the engineering side is you initially have to build it yourself and ultimately maintain it as well. You know, parts may need some attention from time to time. But it also teaches physics and computer programming, meaning that you can actually program it to do different things, uh, make different moves and whatnot. Supposedly it has 46 different programmable components and six programmable AI modes. Uh, these include people recognition, vision marker recognition, 
clapping recognition, gesture recognition, and other S1 robot recognition, as well as line recognition. And with that one, you can basically put blue tape on the ground and kind of outline a path for it that it is then able to follow. Now, the drone does come with the tape, but this uh, particular loose one here that I got, uh, it didn't have any of that extra stuff. But anyway, all of these features really make me wish that I had more time to get to know this. I basically had one weekend to kind of mess around with it and get a video made. So definitely not enough time. And I'm still learning a lot about it here, obviously, as I go along. And I'm having a whole lot of fun in the process. But anyway, it's got a ton of really interesting and unique features. Uh, and it has tracking, as in it can lock onto you and follow you around and film you and whatnot. Uh, just a really neat product overall. I don't even want to call it a toy. It's way, way more than that uh, and highly recommend it for sure. Anyway, that's all that I can really say about this for now. Like I say, I, I don't know everything yet, but I do hope that you found the video fun, informative, useful, whatever. And if you did, please give it a like and a share and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already subbed. Thank you all for watching. I will catch you in the next review. Bye for now.